Minnesota Timberwolves video. Um, let's get down to it. This is RC Talks NBA and WNBA. So, traded with the Spurs to get ourselves a pick at number 33 last night. Picked up G, uh, uh, G Leaguer, Leonard Miller. Looks like he has loads of potential. Looks like down the line, he could be a Jaden McDaniels type for us. Looks very explosive. Has to work on his outside shot. And at number 53, we also picked up Jalen Clark out of UCLA. And he is um, trying to come back from an injury. So we may not see him for a while. Um, probably for a long while. But hopefully it's a good investment pick down the line. Um, I, I don't know why, but I feel like he he's like maybe cutting that Wendell Moore lane, um, Wendell Moore Jr. lane type of vein. But uh, Wendell Moore Jr. Um, looking forward to to seeing what he can provide for us next season. I believe that him and Josh Minot sh- should get expanded roles in some sort of capacity. I mean, it's not guaranteed, but but I would like to believe so. Um, of course, you know. Coach Finch, you know, prior to prioritizing wins above all. So, you know, I guess that's what matters the most because it does. Um, I'm interested in seeing what, what becomes of Nas Reed. Um, I think if Nas Reed do, does depart, uh, we probably got to bring back Luca Garza. And, and you may see more of the uh, Leonard Miller kid sooner if Nas Reed does not return. Um, like I said, I definitely want Nas Reed back, but it, it, it may just come down to not being able to financially afford him. And also, what if what if Nas wants to start? You know, because if if Nas Reed uh, wants to start, then you know we definitely can't bring him back at all. And I know he's a hot commodity on the market, and a few teams, um, definitely the Lakers are one. You know, looking at at getting Nas Reed. But I think for us, I think the biggest thing is just coming back, running this back one more time. And it took a while, but down the road of last season, you know, I eventually, especially as the playoffs approach, um, even though you've seen a, a few boneheaded things from Rudy, um, I, the way he played defense against uh, Nikola, uh, Jokic in the first round playoffs made me want to at least give another uh, look at it. Everybody wants to quickly toss Goldberg under the bus, but you know, hey, I, I'm like, let's run it back again because I think he played some some fairly good defense against uh, Nikola. I felt like he held his own, and um, I just felt like you know Anthony Edwards also just came out and just really just took over and was truly dominant and going forward we got to see that all the time and we see that most of the time and you know it's a lot on his shoulders you know but for us we definitely need everything that that Ann can give us and you know I I forgive it and I I don't forget but you know I forgive Ann for for not showing up against the Lakers in the play in you know he's too talented you know chalk it up to to something being uh, wrong or off or his shoulder, you know, an injury, because he redeemed himself um, throughout the playoffs and even carrying us as far as he did. So you don't want to be too too hard, you know, on him. And I just would like to see Jaden McDaniels come back, focus, really get down a, a knockdown jump shot, uh, get that down pat, get him, a, you know, if he gets that, he'll be good. He's already a really good rebounder stellar score so for for this team going forward run it back the same figure out how to incorporate the rookies um i hope to see leonard miller and summer league hopefully josh and wendell will come back and go to summer league and and really just tear it up in summer league because you know what they they really could be some some key pieces of help for um for Anthony Edwards cuz I think it's very important very very important to get players uh that are of uh, a younger age 
closer to Anthony Edwards' age to grow on that same timeline with him. That's what I'm looking to say. Look, grow on that same timeline as Ant. Because if we could find that, that would that would just be excellent. So hopefully Leonard Miller, Jade McDaniels, um, Josh Minot, hopefully they all hit. You know, like I say, and I, and I think we probably would bring back a, a, a big, like, Garza if, you know, we lose Nas. And then you get the situation with uh, Carl Anthony Towns. Um, I, I think we're just going to keep them. Um, a lot of this stuff I've been hearing, I'm not going to say it's fabricated about him, you know, bigging himself up. In other words, boosting himself up, saying how great he is and who he's better than. He's just, he just, Cat just has to go out on the court, prove it night in and night out. You know, can't complain, can't get caught up in the, in the, uh, the arguments, the foul trouble. Just, just go out there and deliver, you know. Even if it comes down to him trimming back his three point shots, because he can do, he can score in so many myriad of ways that it doesn't always, always have to be um, from long distance. You know, just, you know, he, he takes like, I don't know, Cat takes like, what, six to, six to eight threes a, a night, like trim that, like cut that down to like, even if he just cuts the six, seven, eight, nine, three point attempts, even if he just cuts it down to like four or five, unless, unless he's really hot, if he's really hot, like if, if cat hits his first two or three, uh, three point shots, or if he starts out hitting two out of four, or three out of four, keep shooting it. But that's my problem with a lot of the league. They just, if you're not making it, stop taking it. You know, like there should be that, but it, it is a new, a new uh, modernized NBA. We're watching and seeing the players play, but all in all, I like the promise of our team next season. You know, if we could come out and, and, and be that Timberwolves team to fight for a, a three or a fourth seed, that would just be amazing. It really would. I think it's time for us to win. I think we've seen so much losing over all these years taste the playoffs a few times. Minnesota, I'm ready to win. I'm ready to win. I'm ready to see Anthony Edwards thrive. You know, if Cat wants to, to be part of it, he got to lock in and show us that he's capable of it. You know, we give one more look at Rudy Gobert. You know, like I say, I like the fact that we traded to get Leonard Miller. We ain't standing packed. You know, we'll see what happens um, in free agency. Uh, do we resign Mike Conley Jr.? You know, um, I hope I really hope we could bring back um, NAW Nikhil Alexander Walker. Um, he he was a key piece down the stretch for us. A really great pickup that we got from New Orleans, who with their uh, emergence of uh, Trey Trey Murphy uh, the third, they didn't was it? Yeah, I think it's Trey Mur Murphy the third. But yeah, they didn't really need him, so they. They gave him to us, and that was a big, uh, big, big win for us to get Nikhil Alexander Walker. So, hopefully, we can get bring him back. Um, so, that, that's my take on it um, about the Timberwolves going forward. Like I say, also two more things: if we didn't bring back Jordan uh, uh, McLaughlin or uh, or um, Jalen Noel, I wouldn't complain. We just have to make sure that we we get some guards um, to play that to play that backup those backup guard spots. I know Nikhil can play some two. Um, I know that Wendell uh, can play some two. We just got to get us a backup point guard because because Jordan he ain't he not a oh, I'm not really a fan. So, but hey, that that's my take. We'll we'll talk more Timberwolves at some point. Um, of course we will. But I'm gone. Peace.